Hey everyone, it's John here from Hatagaki back with a quick video. Mikheyev requested a trade out of Toronto, it seems like. Elliot Freeman dropped an article and it seems like at the end of the season, Mikheyev talked to Leafs management and it seems like he wanted out. But Dubis, the management, talked to him and with Thornton and Hyman leaving, they wanted to keep him. So, I mean, let's look at the article. So, according to several sources, Toronto winger Ilya Mikheyev asked for a trade following the 2020, 2021 season and... It seems like they've made it clear that they will not accommodate his request. So, man, it's just a matter of, like, this guy's been given an opportunity, and he screwed up. Like, this is the guy that shoots from, like, the freaking blue line, like, off transition, or at the top of the circle, like, randomly, right into the chest. He does not create good shots for himself. Like, I was going to show one of his goals. Like, I think this was, like, his one of his first, or his first, like, look at this. Barry creates it all, and look at this flutter shot in. Like... I shouldn't say he doesn't create goals for himself, but McKayev's an energy guy. He's like a checking guy. I don't know how he thought that he was going to rack up like 15, 20 goals or if that's what he thought. Like, yes, I guess it's possible if McKayev's on a really good line, but just in my perspective, this is a 10 to 15 goal guy. He's going to be a 30, 40 point guy in his career at the most. If he proves me wrong, great. But I just don't understand this trade request. So to me, it's not the end of the world, whatever. He requested a trade. The Leafs are trying to figure it out. But I think this is a guy that we need to see a lot more from before he starts complaining about a certain role. Because yeah, he was on the third or fourth line last year a lot versus getting the opportunity on the second line as of the year before. So I understand the frustration, but if it's about the Leafs losing, I mean, I can't blame certain players. If they don't want to be with the Leafs because the Leafs keep choking in the first round, I mean, that's a different scenario, but I don't know if it's that. So let me know what you guys think. I just want to react, talk some shit a little bit. But just in terms of the article, uh, there's not a whole lot else there. Just kind of talking about his ice time. His ice time was a little lower, but still, the fact that you're getting over 14 minutes, is it's not nothing. <laughs> um, so yeah, his 30 or 23 point 39 game rookie season was cut short because of the wrist injury. I uh, got slit with the like the edge of the skate, I'm pretty sure. And um, so that was that was tough. But, I mean, he came back and it seemed like he was healthy this year, but he only had 17 points and, yeah, didn't put up points in the playoffs. So we don't need those guys. We don't need the guys that put up zero points in the playoffs. So he's got to be better. I think they'll try to figure it out. I could see McKay starting on the third line potentially, uh, but we'll see what happens. So thank you guys so much. Hit that subscribe button. Drop a like. If this news is for real and they're keeping McKay maybe Engvall is more likely to get traded, but... Uh, if they do see another scenario and they honor his trade request, I could see that still happening. Time will tell. All right, guys. Thank you so much. John from Matagaki. Have a good one. Peace out.